Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a really good day. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. Today we are going to be talking about a little bit about little triggering type thing and it's about eating and um, it's about Nikocado avocado. So if you are triggered by food and stuff, just know that, you know, I will try and proceed with caution and be as respectful as possible. Um, so if you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me get to 20K. I would be super incredibly grateful. I hope you guys are having a good Wednesday, you guys. I feel like this year is going by so fast. It's almost Halloween time. I have not had my first pumpkin spice latte um, this season. And I heard Starbucks has these like pumpkin spice um uh, pastries that I need to try. So I'm gonna try that tomorrow, bitch. Um, so yeah, anyways, you guys, um, what was I gonna say? Bitch, what the fuck was I gonna say? Oh yeah. So anyways, grab a snack, grab a drink and let's talk. So listen, you guys, I used to follow Nick Accado Avocado. I've said this before. I used to follow him, um, back in the day when he actually lived in Columbia with Orlin and he was a fruitarian. And then little by little he started, or he was a fruitarian. Then he was a raw uh, raw to something. I don't know what the, the name it's called. And then he started introducing cooked foods, but mostly, you know, vegetable based. Um, and he used to do like these crazy foods, like vegetable based foods. And I used to love watching them. I thought, you know, I thought Nick Akata was a very intelligent person. I thought he was very, um, I thought he was very just honestly inspirational at that time. You know, he knew a lot about, uh, food and health and, uh, the benefits of, of every type of food. And, and I was here for it because I've always dabbled in wanting to be a vegetarian, but I never really, I never, I don't know. It's like, I always sort of do it and then I fall and then I don't do it and then I fall. But anyways, bitch. Um, so I used to follow him then. And then he started doing mukbangs. And I remember he, he did one with mommy Tang and just like started and started and started. And then he started eating meat. And then now he is close to 400 pounds. Um, listen, you guys. Nick Akato, my, my, my situation with this is the following. I am a very body positive person when it comes to everyone else except me. I will be your biggest cheerleader. I would really, I think anyone honestly in any size is gorgeous and beautiful. I love to see people with, um, who are, you know, um, self, self like believing in themselves, um, have a lot of like, confidence because I don't have confidence that much. So it's so refreshing to see people that are like me who are not, you know, who are not skinny, um, be confident. And, um, with Nick Accado, things are different because I feel like he is exploiting, um, being bigger and making it just so cringe to look at. You know, there is a lot of uh, you know, bigger people who are body positive and it is hard enough, I think, to grow up. You know, I would, I would, I, I did suffer a lot. You know, I had boobs and I would always have to wear like shirts to the pool because I was always made fun of. Um, you know, I was picked on for being the, 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 the fat kid in class. That's the truth. Um, one time I remember that, you know, um, and I, God bless her. She was, doing the best she could for me, but my mom gave me crystal light candy, which is like cereal sugar candy, when everyone else got like real candy. And you know, I know she only meant well, but those are things that stick with you. And um, until this day, you know, I, I have body dysmorphia, I have binge eating things. So I stopped watching Nikocado because of that, because of the binge eating my situation. And you know, I love to follow body positive people, but Nick Accardo is making it seem like a very, like he's giving a really bad name to anybody uh, who is, you know, a bigger size, I believe. Um, the way that he is making a show of it, because everyone always agrees that Nick Accardo is a very smart guy. You know, I do believe he's very intelligent and I think he's very um, organized in the fact that he knows what and how to say, how to, you know, sell his products, how to do all these things. And, you know, he did say that when he turns 30, I believe it's 30 that he's going to stop doing the mukbangs, but I'm afraid that it's going to be too late for him. Um, so I'm making this video to ask you guys, because I'm always, uh, well, not always, I'm lying to you. Um, as of lately, I've watched about four videos. I stopped watching Nick Akado in full because I just couldn't take it anymore. 
but I've seen a lot of his videos, well, like the last four videos he's made, and it's it's honestly just like it's 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 a lot, you know, it is a lot for you know, for a lot of people, I read the comments like, you know, oh my God, this is so funny. He's the most entertaining person in the world. Like he's in, in the joke, but, and I believe he's also in the joke, but I also believe that he is literally killing himself for money. Excuse me. So um, my question to you is, do you think that Nick Accado should get, you know, like put some kind of, I don't want to say kicked out from YouTube, but maybe put a warning before his videos because I, I've read a lot of comments saying that they're stopping uh, to watch Nikocado because how it's turning into a slow suicide. You know what I mean? Um, so do you think, I've seen a lot of comments saying like they should deplatform Nikocado. And I just honestly, I believe this. I believe that Nikocado understand what he, he understands what he's doing. But I don't think any amount of money is worth that. You know what I mean? And I wish I could see Nick Accado doing his violin again and um, cooking, you know, his vegetarian food. Like, I wish I could see that Nick Accado again. But obviously, he needs to do what he needs to do to be happy. And I get that money can make anyone happy. But it can't really do anything if you're not here anymore. You know what I mean? So my question to you is, do you think Nick Accado should be on YouTube? Um, you know... I know that he's made 5 million channels because a lot of his channels, I think, get demonetized um, because he, he has done a lot. You know, there's always the fighting with Orlin, there's the food fighting, there's the, the pooping himself, there's the throwing of food. Um, and that's the other thing that really pains me when these huge mukbang channels is that the waste of food. You know what I mean? Like, it's just waste of damn food. And, you know, I'll always say I admired Nick Accado at one point. I thought he was so knowledgeable about everything and such a hard worker, but seeing him um, not love himself enough to put himself first than money, I'm, I'm sad to see him like this. And also, I do believe that um, I get why he's still on YouTube because it's very hard, I guess, for Nick Accado to get a nine to five job. So I think he's like, girl, I need to like, you know, milk this until there's no more milk left, bitch. Um, because I think after YouTube, where do you go from there? You know what I mean? I know he used to do he fans OF, but I don't know if he still does it. I never see him really promote it. I only see him promote his cameo and I believe Patreon as well. Um, but you know, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I just hope that Nick Accado finds some kind of like peace with himself. I hope him and Orlin can um, get together again and they can, you know, rekindle their relationship. I think it would be really nice because at one point I did see just how much they loved one another. And I do remember seeing Orlin just always in awe of Nick Accardo and he would cook for him and he would always, you know, just, they would just make such a cute couple. And it's very sad to see both of them the way they are right now. So anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I love you all so much. And I hope you guys really take care. I hope you have a fabulous Wednesday. Um, I will definitely, guys, give you an update on my moving. Um, there has been a lot on the moving, and I will definitely let you guys know. I have filmed other videos that will go up today, so definitely check those out. And I love you all so much. Have a beautiful day.